Edward Norton was swapped for Mark Ruffalo as the Incredible Hulk. Tyler Maine was replaced with Lee Schraver as Sabretooth in the X-Men movies. Elizabeth Shue replaced Claudia Wells as Jennifer in Back to the Future. Andrew Garfield assumed the role of Spider-Man from Tobey Maguire. The first three Spider-Man films starred Tobey Maguire as the web-slinging superhero, but he was eventually replaced by Andrew Garfield. The new casting was spun as a reboot rather than a continuation of the same series. But Garfield wasn't a successful Spider-Man, as he himself acknowledges. He's since been replaced by Tom Holland. Sunrise, Sunset. More Spider-Man, the funniest Spider-Man quips in Comics 2 of 187, the top Marvel Comics superheroes, one of 297, the best comic book superheroes of all time. Don Cheadle replaced Terrence Howard as James Rhodes in Iron Man. The first Iron Man movie features Terrence Howard in the role of Tony Stark's best friend, Colonel James Rhodey Rhodes. In the sequel, Howard is replaced by Don Cheadle. Howard, never one to hold back, aired his grievances in a Watch What Happens live interview. He claimed Iron Man himself, Robert Downey Jr., forced him out of the role. When it was time to re-up for the second one, Howard said. He took the money that was supposed to go to me and pushed me out. Julian Moore became Clarice Starling after Jodie Foster didn't reprise her role. Jodie Foster won an Oscar and a permanent place in film history as the dogged FBI agent Clarice Starling in Silence of the Lambs. But when the sequel, Hannibal, was made a decade later, Julian Moore was cast as Starlin. The decision was all Foster's. Producers tried to woo her back to the role, but she had no desire to return. Moore Clarice Starlin, 10 of 411, the greatest female characters in film history, 54 of 228, the greatest female characters in literature. Ranked 4 of 82, the very best actress performances, rank. Maggie Gyllenhaal took over the role of Rachel in Batman from Katie Holmes. Batman Begins was a monster hit, so you'd assume the same actors would return for subsequent movies. But Katie Holmes, who played Rachel Dawes, was replaced by Maggie Gyllenhaal in the next Batman film. The reason, director Christopher Nolan and Holmes herself both claim it was nothing acrimonious. Holmes wasn't available, and Gyllenhaal got her blessing before accepting the role. More 147 of 737 the most annoying TV and film characters ever 3020 of 3000. 510 the best movie characters of all time, 13 of 18 the best characters in the Nolan's Dark Knight series, ranked. Bryce Dallas Howard stepped in for Rachel Lefebvre as Victoria in the Twilight movies. As the flame-haired vampire Victoria, Rachel Lefebvre made quite an impression in the first two Twilight films. In the third installment, however, she was replaced by Bryce Dallas Howard. There was a brief overlap in the third film's shooting schedule, and Lefebvre was committed to another project. The Twilight producers refused to accommodate her a move that did not make Lefebvre happy. I was fully committed to the Twilight saga and to the portrayal of Victoria. Given the length of filming for Eclipse, never did I fathom I would lose the role over a 10-day overlap. I was happy with my contract with Summit and was fully prepared to continue to honor it. Summit chose simply to recast the part. 
I am greatly saddened that I will not get to complete my portrayal of Victoria for the Twilight audience. I am hurt deeply by Summit's surprising decision to move on without me. I wish the cast and crew of Eclipse only the very best. Both Bill Murray and Bernie Mac played Bosley in Charlie's Angels. The first Charlie's Angels movie has Bill Murray in the pivotal role of John Bosley, Charlie's representative who keeps in regular communication with the Angels. In the sequel, Burning Mac plays John's brother Jimmy Bosley. Apparently, Murray and co-star Lucy Lee butted heads on set, and though they eventually settled things amicably, also Murray seems to have really hated Charlie's Angels and its director. Kimberly Jane Brown was replaced by Sarah Paxton as Marnie in Halloween Town. Halloween Town was an exceptionally charming Disney Channel original movie, but in a bizarre move, execs replaced Kimberly Jane. Brown, who played protagonist Marnie Piper in the first three movies with Sarah Paxton, Neither Brown nor Paxton have any idea why the switch was ordered. Nothing makes me happier than playing Marty, Brown explained. Disney decided not to use me for the fourth one. I don't know why. I was definitely disappointed not to do it. Maria Bello took over for Rachel Weisz's Evie in the Mummy. Rachel Weiss plays the feisty Evie in The Mummy and The Mummy Returns. But in the third movie, Tomb of the Dragon Emperor, Evie is suddenly played by Maria Bello. Reports differ as to why Weiss didn't return for another sequel. Maybe she was done with the character, or perhaps she didn't like the script. Whatever the reason, Weiss avoided being in the worst reviewed film in the franchise. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and like and comment down below and also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.